Ruby, chapters 13 and 14, Forever Fall. Let's react to this. Back again with another, with some more chapters, I should say, of Ruby. And this one is entitled Forever Fall. Alright, so I'm almost finished with volume one. I know once I finish chapter 13 and 14, I got two more. So I'm excited to check this out. Because I'm very curious to see what's going on with John and everybody else. So let's start this. This will be the day we waiting for. This will be the day we open up the door. This will be the world. Uh, 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 uh. Nah, I still don't know the words. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I gotta stop singing. I forgot he's a leader. Hey, John. <laughs> Long time no see. Did you lock yourself out again? Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Got it. So, where have you been lately? I, uh, I messed up. I did something I shouldn't have, and now carton has got me on a leash, and Kira won't even talk to me. I'm starting to think coming to this school was a bad idea. I feel so bad for him. Nope. 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 You're a leader now, Jean. You're not allowed to be a failure. But what if I'm a failure at being a leader? Nope. <laughs> you know, she's not the easiest nope. person to talk to about this kind of stuff. Nope. Nope. Jean, maybe you were a failure when you were a kid. <sighs> you might have even been a failure the first day we met. <laughs> but you can't be one now. You know why? Uh, because... Because it's not just about you anymore. You've got a team now, Jean. We both do. And if we fail, then we'll just be bringing them down with us. We have to put our teammates first. And ourselves second. Your team deserves a great leader, Jean. Let them know, Ruby. And I think that can be you. Have a good night, Jean. A cool ass farm. Yes, students, the forest of Forever Fall is indeed beautiful, but we are not here to sightsee. Professor Peach has asked all of you to collect samples from the trees deep inside this forest, and I'm here to make sure that none of you die while doing so. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Each of you is to gather one jar's worth of red sap. However, this forest is full of the creatures of Grimm, so be sure to stay by your teammates. We will rendezvous back here at four o'clock. Have fun! Come on, buddy. Let's go. wasn't too hard, was it? I think I'm allergic to this stuff. Great, great, great. <laughs> so, Jean, I bet you're asking yourself, why did my buddy Cardin ask me to collect six jars of tree sap when there's only five of us? That is one of the many questions I have asked myself today, yes? Well, come with me and you'll find out. Oh. Mm. 
<laughs> What's going on? Payback. Pira? What are you? That's the girl. Red haired, know it all, thinks she's so smart. All right, boys. Last night, old John here managed to round up an entire box full of rapier wasps. And now, we're going to put him to work. <laughs> now, according to one of the essays he wrote for me last week, these nasty things love sweets. I'm thinking it's time we teach her a thing or two. And you're going to do it. Do what? Hit her with the sap. Either that, or I'll have a chat with Goodwitch, and you'll be on the first airship at a beacon. Come on, John. There you what go. What did you say? I said no. <laughs> oh, you've done it now. <laughs> Poor John. I'm happy that he stood up for it. You know, he stood up for his teammate and for himself. I don't really know which direction this is about to go, but I feel bad for him. But I'm happy that he did what he had to do. If he would have threw that jaw at her, I'd have been pissed. Pissed. I'm like, yo, all she do is try to help you. I know that she likes you. I don't know if he know it. But I'm very happy that he didn't go through with it. Good for you, John. Just, you know, let's see what's about to happen to him. <laughs> all right, Night Riders. It's time for chapter 14, part 2 of Forever Fall. Alright, Night Riders. So, as I said, it is time for chapter 14, part 2 of Forever Fall. Let's see what happens to Jean and this whole sticky situation. Ha! You saw what I did there? You saw? Alright, yeah. Yeah, that's never gonna happen again. <laughs> Alright, John, let's do this. My whistle is on point today. It don't always happen like that. Sometimes I just blow it out my air. <laughs> you know that wasn't very smart, Johnny boy. I'm gonna make sure they send you back to mommy in teeny tiny pieces. I don't care what you do to me, but you are not messing with my team. What? You think talk like that makes you tough? You think you're a big strong man now? Oh, nice, his aura. Let's see how much of a man you really are. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha Get that shit out of here. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Ursa! Ursa! What? Where? Back there! It's got carded! Sean! Yay! You and Blake, go get Professor Goodwitch! You two, go with them! There could be more. <laughs> Ooh! Smack the shit out of him. Oh, 
Ха-ха-ха! Ебой! Yeah, Ебой! I was waiting for this. Ooh. Don't rush, John. <laughs> Holy crap, John! Don't ever mess with my team, my friends, ever again. There you go. Got it. I'm so freaking proud of no him. Card in tonight? I thought you two were best buds. Pira, I'm sorry. I was a jerk. You were only trying to be nice and I I had all this stupid macho stuff in my head. John, it's okay. Your team really misses their leader, you know. Aww. You should come down. Ren made pancakes. No syrup, though. You can thank Nora for that. Wait. I Take up on her I training. Deserve it after all that happened, but would you still be willing to help me? Yes. To help me become a better fighter. <laughs> hey, your stance is all wrong. You need to be wider and lower to the ground. I've been wanting this for him. Let's try that again. My man, Jean. I am so proud of this dude. Y'all don't even know. I know y'all saw my excitement, but y'all don't even know. I'm so proud of him. Oh shit. Caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting to hear it. Um <laughs> Oh, I'm so proud of him. That's how you do it, Jean. That's exactly how you do it. I'm so proud of him. He stood up to to whatever his name was. Beat um Beat the the bear shit. I forgot the name of it. And he's gonna receive training from from the check. I'm so happy for him. Alright, I gotta calm myself down. <laughs> Alright, night writers. Let me know what you guys thought of Forever Fall. Chapters 13 and 14 of Ruby. Oh, man. I, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I'm so happy for him. Alright, y'all. Told y'all, I really think John, you're going to see, I have a feeling you're going to see a totally different side of John soon. Probably for volume two. Probably. But, like I said, y'all, don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Don't tell me. Don't be like, you know, wait till y'all see what John does in volume two. Don't do that. All right? Just wait till I get there. All right? So, 
like I said, y'all, let me know what you guys thought. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Night Riders, y'all already know what it is as you like, comment, and share. But if this is your first time checking on myself or the channel, hit that subscribe button. Become a Night Rider. And join us on our journey. 5,000 subscribers. So until next time, ride or die, Night Riders. We out.